Hey everybody, this is Matt. This is my bonsai collection for 2011. This is my first year doing bonsai. I just got into it uh, this season and I absolutely love it. It's a, a very rewarding hobby and uh, fun to do. Uh, it combines uh, science, art, and nature all in one. Pretty cool. Uh, first one here, this is a crepe myrtle and uh, it's in a bonsai pot here. Got it from a local nursery. It was about five feet tall. Chopped it down pretty heavily and um, been pruning it, taking care of it. It is in sphagnum moss here uh, with some stones. That white stuff on the stones is just Elmer's glue used to hold, hold the stones in. It'll dry clear. Uh, great looking roots there, which is uh, nabari. It's Japanese for root, surface roots. Uh, look great there. Cool looking plant. Uh, it, it's it really, it, it's, it's pretty cool. It, it, I've been pinching off all the buds. I've been uh, taking care of it, trying to make it look fuller and uh, I think year by year it's going to look better. Uh, this is a desert rose, or a Adenium obesum. It comes from South Africa, and uh, it's planted in sphagnum moss. And a very cool plant. Uh, you can beat it up. Uh, you can forget to water it. It uh, grows in like desert, uh, a very dry, arid areas, and uh, it grows these beautiful pink and red flowers. And uh, very cool plant, very unique. The obesum comes from that fat base right there. So um, pretty cool plant. Got the uh, roots coming down, the uh, adventitious roots kind of going down into the ground there. Uh, pretty pretty neat plant. Uh, this is a this is one of my first bonsais. This is a Japanese holly, and it looks like your typical tree. I uh, really didn't do anything for the first few months, then it just took off. You can see that new green growth there. Uh, looks like your standard, typical tree. Uh, pretty cool. I enjoy it, and uh, it's one of my first ones I did. This I like to call your own private island. This is a ponytail palm in this little cup here. Uh, kind of reminds me of the world's smallest island. This is actually not a palm tree. But uh, it just it looks like one, but it's called a ponytail palm, and it's uh, also grown in sphagnum moss. Uh, sphagnum moss, I'm, new, I'm not using any dirt at all. This is strictly just sphagnum moss, and um, it is a great method to grow bonsai trees in. So there's your ponytail palm. This right here is called elephant bush. Kind of looks like a jade tree. Uh, it's uh, native to South Africa. And it is uh, the pretty much the main diet of elephants. That's why they call it elephant bush. Uh, elephants eat it. Uh, it's, it's a succulent and uh, pretty cool plant. Uh, it's supposed to grow. It's only grown, it's grown about two or three inches in the last week and a half. It's it's gone crazy. Uh, this is an azalea tree. Uh, I like the look on it. I like that angled look. I had one going across the other way. Kind of looked like a tree from Whoville from uh, Dr. Seuss, but. Uh, I uh, repainted, replanted that, and that was a, a used to be a juniper bonsai that I bought from Home Depot, and it died. But um, put the azalea plant in, and it'll have beautiful white flowers next spring. And um, I enjoy it. It's pretty cool, pretty cool plant. Uh, this is my, one of my first bonsai also. This was a uh, uh, Pacific Blue Juniper, I believe. And uh, it has your typical oriental bonsai look to it. And uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, not exactly a fast grower, but uh, it grows those those small needles. It makes it look like a uh, uh, your typical Oriental traditional style bonsai. And um, does well. Cut a lot of it off. That was just a regular, regular uh, from a just regular a nursery, and uh, cut about seventy percent of the plant off. Uh, this was is called an Indian hawthorn. And uh, it's kind of like an azalea. It uh, will bloom pretty flowers. And I like these dual trunks right here. I, I like that. It, uh, it it's gonna look co uh, looks cool uh, when it flowers and when it, when it fills out in the spring. But uh, pretty cool little plant. Um, just uh, it's been doing well. Uh, this is the mystery plant. There's my tiki man. Uh, he stands guard over my plants. Uh, I dug this out of my yard. Um, just had a cool look to it. I had to cut a lot off because it keep it kept yellowing, yellowing. I have no idea what this plant is, um, but uh, it has kind of a tropical look to it, and uh, it has shown no signs of growth. It hasn't died, but it has just produced no growth at all. 
So uh, those rocks down there, that white stuff on there is also Elmer's glue holds it on there. Uh, but uh, cool look, you know, for the price, can't beat it. This actually is a top of a pineapple. Went to Publix, bought a pineapple, and uh, cut the top off, put it in some sphagnum moss, and uh, we'll see what it does. Well, it uh, turned out, as it died, the uh, first one I did died, um, but because uh, the, the bottom of the potter was plugged up and it flooded, but... Um, We'll see, you know, we'll see. Should a pineapple should come out of the top of that too, which would be cool. This is uh, one of my first bonsai also. I just repotted it. This is a Golden Gate ficus, and uh, it's an indoor bonsai. But uh, it has a cool, I have, it has that cool tree from Beetlejuice um, kind of cemetery type <laughs> tree, you know, just a very wicked horror movie kind of vibe to it. And I, I like it, it's pretty cool. So I'm uh, trying to bring it back. It was kind of. Uh, kind of uh, pitiful when I bought it from a uh, from Home Depot, but uh, um, we'll see what it does. These are actually cuttings. I uh, put root hormone in them, put them in sphagnum moss. This is hibiscus cuttings. I uh, took a hibiscus, cut it down, and uh, these cuttings, hopefully I'll get uh, four new hibiscus. And this is one of my newest ones I just made. This is a hibiscus right here. This, those cuttings came from this plant right here. So uh, chopped it down pretty heavily, but uh, I like the way it looks. That pot, very, very feminine looking pot with the rocks and uh, the kind of the angle to the tree. Uh, I hope it's going to do well. We'll see. You know, we've had some brutal winters here lately, but uh, should be pretty cool. I'd love to see those beautiful, beautiful hibiscus flowers. And this is what I call my migraine man. He, uh, <laughs> a permanent fixed angry state here, but uh, I call him the migraine headache man. This is a yucca, uh, a cane yucca, I believe. And uh, if you ever, it's sphagnum moss right there, no dirt at all. Uh, has that cool tropical beach, you know, uh, vacation look. But, uh, but that's it right there, and, uh, and those things are razor sharp. They will cut you in a heartbeat. So that's my collection. I uh, hope you enjoy. Take care. One quick thing, I want everybody to check out Bonsai9723 on YouTube. I've watched all his videos. Jerry has pretty much taught me every single thing I know about Bonsai, and he makes it so easy to jump into this hobby and get going with it. And he also has a book out about Bonsai. Everybody check it out.